Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are doing another coral video. It is the Duncan Coral. These are really cool prices on them. You'll normally spend about $30 on them. Tend to get about two to three heads on a frag at that price. At our shop, we tend to sell them at $14 a head, so it kind of hits the same as you see online. Hair level, I'd say moderate. Temperature, you can want to keep it about 72 to 78. I definitely recommend a more warmer temperature for your reef tank at right at 78. DKH, you want to keep it 8 to 12. BH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Colors, so the color wise it really doesn't change there's not like a whole bunch of different colors like you can get on hammers and different types of torches they pretty much are just really green in the center and then they have kind of like a whitish cream body and tentacles but it is very pretty diet on them so they of course photosynthesize most of their diet but i would also recommend direct feeding them uh, pellets are a really go good one to try out on them. Normally their heads are big enough that you can just drop it right on top of them and they'll close over them. And also people I've seen spot feed them mice shrimp, just the little frozen cubes, just squirt some of them on them and they'll also grab those. That'll help them stay really healthy and it'll help them grow faster. Origin, most of the time they're aquacultured, but if you do end up getting one from the wild, it is from Australia. Venomous, actually no, these guys do not have any sweeper tentacles in them, uh, so they really have no way of stinging other corals, but they can be stung by other corals, so make sure you put them in a spot that they're not going to get stung. Placement, normally recommend at the lower points of your tank, or maybe the middle, but really lower end, because I've noticed whenever people put them up too high in their tank, they tend to shrink. They won't come out as much as they would at the very bottom and you want them to look really big current uh definitely recommend low current too so whenever there's too much current on them the little tentacles will start to shrink up and they won't be able to grab food as easy so then they're not getting fed so you definitely want to make sure they're they're kind of low in the tank and at a spot in your tank that doesn't have that much current that way they stay real big for you and they look a lot better that way too Tank size doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you keep your calcium up, your KH up most of all, and then make sure there's plenty of nutrients in the tank for them to eat. So they tend to grow new branches right beside each other, kind of like a hammerwood or frog spawn, but the branches are very hard. They're very tough. So fragging them tends to be a problem with people if they don't have the right equipment. The last time I fragged some at the shop, I had to use a little saw blade because you have to basically get through that branch because it's so tough. Uh, a lot of people have a lot better equipment, but for most people, they tend to just let them grow big. I mean, it's the best way to do it. It's better to have a massive one in your tank rather than just a bunch of little frags. So other than that, that pretty much hits on everything you need to know about the Duncan Coral. They won't sting other corals, but they can get stung. And then also making sure you put them at the lower parts of your tank with less current will help them stay really big and a lot prettier. Other than that, I pretty much hit on everything. Feeding them, I definitely recommend you go get some pellets and put it on top of them. You'll see them grow a lot faster that way. Other than that, if y'all have any more specific questions, please leave them down below. Hope y'all like and subscribe to me, and I will see y'all later. If y'all got any more recommendations on coral you want to see soon, just let me know and I'll get on it. Hope y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all later.